We're going to look at maintaining older poles. Uh, one of the downsides of composite material poles is that with extended use uh, the surface will wear. Often this happens just in one or two spots, perhaps where the number one or number two section is clamped in the closed position. I have an 18 month old extreme pole here and it's done the typical wear where it's worn right at the top of the number one and two section so usually in use now I leave it slightly open to avoid that patch of wear but we can restore that finish so that we don't have to work like that anymore. And I'm going to show you how to restore that finish, that those areas on any make of pole and also looking at uh, the built up section on an extreme how to restore that finish as well after extended use. Right we've removed the two sections that I want to work on the section one and section two and you can see there's a little area of increased wear just below the clamp. This is because they are used more often on low level works clamped in this fully closed position and receive a lot more lateral wear. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to address this type of wear. This will be the same for any make of pole. And take some masking tape and carefully mask off the section to be worked on. We don't want to risk getting any of the epoxy resin over the rest of the pole or it will affect the diameter of the pole and make it unusable. And do the same on this one. Right, we're now going to mix up some glue to work on that. For this I'm using um, acrylic adhesive that we sell but any epoxy resin such as Araldite Rapid or anything like that will work. On these you have to puncture the top by doing that and then pull the lid off and then I'm going to squeeze a very little of the mixture out. We don't need much at all. And then using a screwdriver mix the two halves together. This particular brand doesn't need much mixing, that's enough mixing. Now, we take the affected area and using a screwdriver or a spatula would be useful, what we want to do is just spread on a very, very little of this amount. Now before that's dry, take something with a flat edge and smooth it off. In effect you're almost scraping off some of the material so that you get a smoother finish as possible. Now we'll put that to one side and allow that to dry, um, preferably for a couple of hours, overnight it's even better. Let's do the other one then. Do the same thing again. And taking the flat edge again, just gently scraping this across the surface to ensure that there are no high ridges on the glued surface. There we are. That's the two top sections done. We're now going to look at restoring the bottom of the section. This is an extreme pole, 18 months old, and just as the top has started to wear away, 
the clamping area here at the bottom has started to wear slightly. Now we repair this in much the same way but slightly differently in that we have to mask both edges in order to create the build up again. So we can see the wear has gone down to about there. So we put masking tape around that and here we're going to apply more masking tape because there's a slight ridge here which has started to wear away on one of the sides. We're going to use two or three wraps of masking tape to build an edge up. Here we go with this. There we are, so we've got a little edge there, which will give us the same step as it originally had. Now we'll mix a little more of this glue up. Put the cap back on. There we are. Let's mix that amount. And we do the same thing, putting the glue on. We put more glue towards this end than this end because it's slightly tapered because of the way it's worn. And taking the same flat edge, you just spin the section, and this flat edge just removes any ridges. All right, that's now ready to dry. A couple of hours it should be dry, or overnight it's even better. And then we'll show you the next stage once it's dry, uh, where we'll take the tape off, sand off any extra ridges, and we'll show you how it works. The glue is now dried, we left this about an hour with this particular brand of glue. And you can see that it's uh, built up an area at the top of the pole. Now in actuality we don't need all of that glue. So what we do is take some fine sandpaper and sand off any ridges on the top surface of that glue. So we're sanding off any of the high points on that built up area. You can see this has taken off a lot of the high points and just left a very thin layer of glue. When that's done, you take off the masking tape and you're left with a refinished top section. You can do that again on this one. There we are, you see it's just taken off the high spots on the glue and then you can take off the masking tape and you've refinished that top section. Now when you reassemble the pole, put it back together, if you find that it's still a little proud, carefully get the sandpaper out and just remove any high spots again so that it's smooth to the rest of the pole. This will last for months now and you've refinished the top of each section. Looking here at the bottom of this extreme pole where we've refinished it we do 
the same thing with a piece of sandpaper leaving the masking tape on we just gently sand off any of the high spots you can see the high spots go white where they've been sanded off to give as smooth a surface as possible There we are, that's smoothed off the high spots. Right, the pole is ready to reassemble. Here we have the pole completely reassembled and the spinning has completely gone from the sections. The clamps clamp tightly in the fully closed position again and they also clamp tightly in the fully open position. No spinning at all. That's a quick and simple way of restoring your pole when it's warm.